What's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michaela Deptula. What's up? How are you? Today we're going to talk about the six ways, the six steps to starting absolutely anything. The first step out of the six is probably the most important step. You gotta have something you wanna do. Plain and simple. The second step is having a passion for that thing you wanna do. If you don't have some sort of interest or some passion towards it, you're probably never going to start the thing or continue with it. You can't wait around for motivation to be the thing that kicks you in gear. So having a passion for what you wanna do will really help you start it and then spear you through any sort of doubts that you might have. Step three is to take stock of what you already have around you. Get the notion out of your head that you need the biggest, best, and brightest toys to start because that's just not true. In order to start, just start where you're at. You'll get better with time. And then in the end, if you really want those toys, you'll be able to know how to use them properly. You especially don't want to buy anything expensive and regal when you don't even know if you'll continue with this or not. Starting something is really just kind of dipping your toe in it and seeing if it's actually something you enjoy. You don't have to stick with it just because you started, but if you do stick with it, then once you get going, you'll understand how it flows, how it goes, and then maybe get the tools to help enhance what you already have. Step four is probably my favorite step and arguably the second most important step. You have to be able to trust yourself. You have to be able to trust yourself enough that you're probably going to suck at the beginning and that's okay. But you also have to trust that you'll get better with time and practice. Nobody starts out being perfect at their craft. They have to fail and learn and redo over and over and over until they get to the place where they're like, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm good enough to think that I'm, I know what I'm doing, but it takes time. You just have to trust that you are gonna put in the work. It's gonna take hard work, but if you love it, then that's what matters. Who cares if you don't do well at first? Step five, begin the dang thing. Just begin. Get rid of all your fear about doing poorly and if somebody will actually like it and just do it. Even if it's the most stupid, crappy, cringy thing you've ever made, at least you started, at least you made it, and then now that that's out of the way, you can go and make something even better. And every time you do it, it'll get better and better and better. Last but not least, step six. Encourage yourself to fail. Actually look forward to failing. Failure has such a nasty connotation to it, when in reality, it's probably your most important tool on your belt of tricks. The ability to fail, but keep going anyway. Learning from each mistake that you make and being better each time. You can continuously ask someone how to do something better. How can my life be like yours? How can I eat like you to look like you? How can I do a project like the project that you did. But until you actually start it, you will never truly understand what it takes to create the life that you want. Your life isn't gonna be like somebody else's that you saw on TV. So you have to start and find out what works best for you in order to get close to what you want and then make it your own. I know you can do it. Good luck. Let me know in the comments what you started and I will see you in the next video.